This is a quick installation video to show you how to install your new R134 retrofit kit. Now, these are some of the things you're going to need. The Schrader valve tool, which you can find at any parts store. It's very inexpensive and an opened end wrench. The first thing you want to do is inspect your fittings. The low side should be an elbow. The high side should be a straight fitting. The high side should have a smaller opening than the low side. If everything looks correct, then we can go ahead and proceed with the installation. The first thing we're going to do is locate our fittings. This is the high side fitting right here. See the cap on it? And then the low side is on the back side. So the first thing is take off the cap and you'll notice the difference in the design. The R12 system is threaded versus the R124 is a quick disconnect as you can see here. So what you want to do is take your Schrader valve tool and you're going to want to insert it to access and pull out the Schrader valve itself. Now in there, we've already pulled it out. We're going to show you how it goes. The two teeth align with the Schrader valve like so, and you're going to twist it counterclockwise to unscrew it. So you're going to do this until the Schrader valve comes out. We've already done it in this system, but as you can see there, that's what it'll look like when it comes out. Now it is very important that you remember that the system is pressurized. If there is Freon in the system, when the Schrader valve comes out, it will release that pressure. Just make sure that your system is not pressurized when removing either the high side or the low side Schrader valve. With your R12 system depressurized, we can go ahead and proceed. Now it's important that you remove this Schrader valve and get rid of it. That Schrader valve is designed to keep Freon from coming out of your AC system. Your new R134 adapter has its own Schrader valve. If you leave the old Schrader valve inside the AC system, it will block the fitting and will not allow it to work. So make sure you discard this. With that said, now we're going to go ahead and proceed to attach this unit. Now, it'll help if you add a tiny drop of blue Loctite. That will prevent the thread from backing out and producing a leak in the future. Now, when attaching this, make sure you angle it away from the intake manifold. That way the quick disconnect will not bump up like so. So facing away will allow the quick disconnect to access and attach to it. And with an open end wrench, go ahead and start snugging down the fitting. It will not require a lot of strength. Remember, this is an aluminum pipe, so you don't wanna damage those threads. Get it snug to where the fitting is not rotating and you are good to go. So you do the exact same thing on the high side. Remove the cap, remove the Schrader valve and attach your new adapter. After that, you'll be ready to have a vacuum pulled on the system and fill it up with Freon.